Hey guys, welcome to another video. Now, I know you guys haven't seen me in a while and I look like shit. So, let's just catch up. So, my hair looks a mess. Now, if you've been watching my shorts um, or my videos, you see my hair has been straightened. Now, earlier, um, well yesterday, I took a shower, I washed my hair, and I did like a little clay mask. I didn't have as much clay as I thought I did. So I ended up doing a lot of my roots instead of my um, entire head. So I did um, do like a apple cider vinegar rinse. And then after I did the rinse, I shampooed three times. Um, I just wanted to really make sure that my hair was you know detox and everything and while my hair was strained i did a nice um cut so i guess i would still call it a trim but usually i don't cut as much off as i did when um i do a trim so if you've watched my videos you know that um i've said a lot of times now real quick I'm using the curl cream and I'm going to put a little bit of gel as well. I did put this in my hair earlier, but I didn't really go through like thoroughly. So I'm just going to refresh because it was raining today and I put my hair in a bun and it just wasn't together. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to detangle and actually do a nice wash and go. So if you've been watching my videos, I have mentioned that two years ago, I try to do highlights on my hair and I put like bleach in random spots. Now I have not put any dye on my hair in two years. And you know, usually I would do like some black hair dye. Sometimes I would put like different colors. I did put red at a point, you know, and I never use bleach. I just use like box dye, which is really not good for your hair at all. But you know, I was bored and whatever, I decided to do it. And honestly, total, total regret. You know, one, you could like barely see it. You seem like brown in very like random areas. And it was just like really pointless, especially the fact that, you know, I damaged my hair a little bit. Like you couldn't see the damage, but like I could feel it. You know, you know your hair. I didn't leave the bleach on for long. I left it on for literally like 15 minutes, but yeah still you know chemically changing it so with that being said I um you know it was very like it was random spots because there were like highlights um of course I don't have another clip so whatever so I decided like you know I can't touch my hair you know, I can't do it for, like, I can't keep putting dye in my hair because I end up dying the black after that anyway. And it was just, like, really so pointless. So, you know, um, my hair, you know, obviously continued to grow and everything. Like, the bleach didn't stop anything. But um, I got my hair straightened. And one day, you know, my hairstylist was telling me she could feel the difference. And I could feel the difference. I didn't like that. So... From that time, which was last year, I would just slowly, like, cut it off. Like, if I was able to, like, notice the color in my hair, which I can only really see in the sun or, like, a certain light. Um, and mainly straighten. Sometimes I could see it when my hair's curly, but not really. Um, so, yeah. And I've been cutting it little by little since last year. You know, and I've been trimming my hair a lot more. Like, honestly, I have seen my hair, like, grow in the last year. But I would have had retained so much more left if I wasn't cutting it off the way that I've been. But I've, you know, been cutting it off because I want, you know, my hair to be completely, like, natural and not, like, touched. You know, I don't want to have any... um bleach in my hair you know I just want my hair to be my hair no like chemical damage in it so 
yeah, I have, you know, just been cutting it off. And I was sitting in the car and I was literally able to see the line, which is literally like this much. It was just like blonde. Like you could just see like a blonde strip. It was so weird from the bleach. And so I went in and I just cut my hair like from that line and I tried to like make it really even um I gave myself some bangs because there was a lot in the front you know and my hair is looser in the front so it's a it's so much more noticeable so I've been cutting it off and because I cut it like yesterday when I looked at my curls I was like oh my god they look so good like they really did my hair just seems so much more full so i'm really happy that i did the cut at the end of the day like you know hair grows back so like you know um i know that my hair's gonna grow back but i know it's gonna grow a lot more and i'm gonna be able to see it if i'm not sitting here you know having to literally like cut it every other week <laughs> like as much as i see it like you know which can be a lot i just pulled it out of my hair um so you know i don't want to be doing it that much so if i get it off now then i won't have to cut that much later so that's what matters because once i'm done cutting i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna have a trim for a little while because i trim my hair way way too often and I wouldn't have to if it wasn't for me putting that bleach on my hair. So I'm just making sure that I'm getting my roots because I feel that I am not. The one thing I like, I love to do my hair right after I get out of the shower, just because I can target my roots so much more. But I'm very very excited that my hair does look you know good with the little cut that I did especially that I'm not professional but I do cut my hair a lot I've definitely cut my hair I don't trust anybody to cut my hair um also I went to the salon so the salon that I go to because my hairstylist hasn't you know been around you know um it's just a Dominican salon I went there as a kid um, I went there the last three times I got my hair done. And so the first time I went, they washed my hair. And I paid $45 for them to wash, blow dry, straighten them. The second time I went, I washed my hair and I went there and my hair, you know, washed but nothing in it. And I got a roller set, blow dry, straighten. Which I didn't realize that like, I thought like they do a roller set and then they just straighten your hair. But mm, that's not even the case. So then, um, I got I paid fifty five dollars for that. You know, I'm like, okay, ten dollars more because I got a roller set. So this time I went, which mind you, is a couple months later, and again I've been you know cutting my hair, like my hair did grow, but it didn't grow that much you know more than the time i paid 50 to five dollars and i went there with clean hair you know already washed do you know this lady charged me 75 dollars the same exact place <laughs> and so um if you also have been watching my shorts i'm pregnant okay and the same day I got my hair done was the same day that the results came to my phone about my gender, about my baby's gender. So 
I'm like, okay, um, I gotta get out of here. So I wasn't even like, I, I couldn't even like sit there and like ask or like argue. Like I was already like in there from 1130 with the results and I didn't get out of there till like 330. So it was already like all day and I was so worked. And, um, I was just like regretting that one. I was like, you know, I shouldn't have even went, but I did. And I was like, $75. Like what? Why? <laughs> Like, seriously, like, I have no clue why I had to pay $75. I've never paid that much. Like, I mean, that's 20 more dollars and you didn't even wash my hair, you know? So, I'll never go back there again. I'm okay. Like, I'm, I'm literally never going back there again. And it sucks because, I mean, like, I know how to, um, I do know how to you know, straighten my own hair. I do a lot of time like this long experience, but like, fuck that. Fuck that. I'm okay. And I do feel like they get it more straightened, but I also do feel that's because um, my straightener is literally like terrible. Terrible, my straightener is. I've been also, um, so I'm going to get a new strainer. And then once I do that, I'll probably be able to straighten my hair like all by myself. But I'm not going to straighten my hair until probably the winter, like after I get birth. Um, maybe like Christmas probably not gonna do my hair for that long unless I get a red hair for my birthday <laughs> but um yeah so anyway <laughs> I've been doing smaller sections because my washing clothes come out so much better so much better when I just like really go in with like smaller sections and it's way easier to get the roots which I should have started from the back like this too Hey guys, so this is day, I'd say four, um, pretty much day four, so Thursday, so yeah, it's the night of day three, pretty much, um, so just want to show you my hair, my hair looks really good, um, but was it a fail? 
yeah so i just wanted to show you like there is a lot of frizz obviously um now i can take that away you know i have spray some water maybe put like a tiny bit of oil on my hands just go like that that helps i could put a couple like a little bit um of curl mousse on my roots too and that will help the frizz but i want to show you guys what it you know really looks like when i take it out of my satin scrunchie so to start i love the two products they are part of the same line they're both with african pride both on the same line in my personal opinion, I feel like if you make products a part of the same line, they should be able to mix no matter what. Even if it was a curl cream and the gel, who knows if the leave-in and the gel mixes, you know? But when you're buying from the same line, I think there's a big assumption that they would mix. They're from the same line. Why wouldn't they? But they didn't. So, not sure if you could see it. No, you could definitely see it. I mean, look at that. My hair is flaking. If I look at a piece and go to separated, all I see I don't know if you could see it, but all you I see is white flakes. Um so the products definitely didn't go together. And listen, I love both products. Um I did have the leave-in conditioner, not at the moment, but I've had it before. And I like it. I don't love it as much as the curl cream. But, like, seeing the results, the gel did its job. The curl cream did its job with moisture. But I'm flaking. <laughs> you know, if I shake my hair, I get, like, all the little flakes all over my shirt. Actually, I don't know if you could see this, but there's flakes all over my black shirt. So... It's a fail. <laughs> you know, it's not a complete fail because my hair does look good. I definitely could rock this wash and go until um, wash day. But would I do it again? No, because it flaked. <laughs> and, you know, I don't, I don't want to deal with flaking hair. You know, every morning I have flakes. Look at it. I mean, oh, it's, just, it's bad. It looks good. Besides that, though, but it, there's flakes everywhere. Even though I just like took, I literally just took the satin scrunchie on. I could see the flakes like flurrying all around the light. And yeah, I just feel like because they're part of the same line, it should be no problem. It's not like they're both African Pride products. They're African Pride products off of the same line. Um, I forget at the moment what the line is called. I will put that somewhere. But I feel like they should work together you know just like the same disappointment as me i'll give me you give a styling cream and a leave-in conditioner but they don't go together you know it's not like i'm choosing you know um let's think of one i actually know okay so shea moisture okay so the leave-in conditioner from the jamaican black castor oil goes with the um the curl smoothie now, if they weren't able to go together, I would understand. Because they are both Shea Moisture, but they're not part of the same line. The other one's the, the um, Curl and Hibiscus, and the, this one's Jamaica Black Hash Girl. Okay, I get it. But once they're part of the same line, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so, definitely fail if flaked. <laughs> you know, looks good. I, I really wish it didn't flake because I feel like it would be a bomb combination. But it doesn't work together. Um, stay tuned for next week's video because I will be doing box braids and I will be doing them, um, my way and my way, meaning that I'm going to do it in a way that I feel like my hair can actually be in a protective style, you know, where it's actually like, you know, doing something for my hair. So I'm not going to be using heat and I won't be using... A shit ton of edge control. Maybe. I haven't decided what product I'm going to lay my hair down with yet. But stay tuned. Um, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.